Hey guys, so uh, this is called The False Messiah. It was given on 4 2024 around midnight. The days shorten, the days dwindle, the false Messiah to rise up. Strength will be needed, an indicator will be given. All of mine stare at the epic battle. The fact that it is so much different than one would have thought. The real shock is how many people believe the lies. You will not understand why they follow him in droves. How could they believe this? But you will simply pray and not speak against the false one. None of mine will follow the false one. All have discernment from me. The false Messiah is unholy. The false Messiah lacks the characteristics of Jesus. The shock is who believes. Some pastors who should know better. Some are world leaders. You are not fooled as they try to persuade. The great chasm occurs between those who believe him and those who do not. My true people do not believe him. The numbers are small who do not believe. This is an embarrassment, a shame. It shows who has not read the gospels. Great shame is to follow those who believe in him. You will have sadness as many you thought were close to me fall to the lie. Pray for them. Pray they awaken. The public square will try to manipulate people into believing. Do not fall to peer influence. Locate the verses in the gospel as proof of the false one. Share this once per person who argues. Do not return in the argument. The gospels have the proof of the false one. The misquote and the lie from him. Speak not against this man. Only speak simple and clear about the truth and then stop talking. Those who speak against this one will be hotly pursued. Pray. The church as you know it will change significantly. The sheep from the goats will become clear. Be strong. Prepare. Many things will unfold rapidly. Changes astounding. Once the false messiah enters the public eye, the days will be quick and the prayers are to be strong until the end. No turning back. When this one is promoted, after all the bombs fall, know the rapture is but days away. A public decree will make all choose, me or the false messiah. Stand firm. The bright and bold will soon be upon the earth, and the game will shift. The game will shift. The dominoes will fall. The Christians will show forth more astounding miracles than seen before. Many will come. Many will come to true faith quickly. You, true believers, will shout forth the gospel. You will help people find me. It will be a busy time, but of much joy. You will need to pray. Keep your residents safe, for so many will have losses. Some will aim to come and seize what I have provided. Those that pray will be kept in perfect safety. The enemy will be bold at times, but mine will be robustly bold. Filled with my power and confidence, help the people have compassion. Share the gospel as you serve. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. The people will triumph like the Hebrews leaving Egypt. Unlikely miracles bold faith, healings, the book of Acts will repeat, springing millions into faith. The time will be quick, all of mine gone unexpectedly, the rapture. Seen in majesty by every believer, unseen by the world. To them a vanishing, where did they all go? Where did all the prisoners go? Where have so many gone? Some will know, they were stubborn skeptics, not believing their friends and family. They fell for the false messiah, and they thought the rapture was a fantasy. There will be some who had heard, but instantly know they were wrong when many are gone. They were told. They will mourn and repent. They will lead the last harvest. They will be on fire for me no matter the cost. Do not be deceived when you see epic falsehoods. Know your Bible. Know Jesus' words. Do not be the prey of the kings. Be wise. Be in me.
Okay, so here are the verses. Daniel, Daniel 12, 1 to 3. At that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine, like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. First Thessalonians 4, 5-17 to According to the Lord's word, we tell you, that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 to 4. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Second Thessalonians 2, 9-12 The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all an unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie and that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Second Thessalonians two fifteen to 17 Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions that you were taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work. John six forty, And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day.